There's my crate. Kenneth always ties a red ribbon to it. I can see an envelope tucked behind the ribbon. Perhaps it can help explain Kenneth's absence. I'm going to have to get in there. Royal Mail, Postmaster's Residence. This must be the local post office. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you a drink, Henry? Really? Really. We can talk more at the inn. But I told Mr. Price I'd keep watch of his storeroom. Doors have locks for this very reason. You're right. One drink won't take long. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. The rocket weren't Stevenson's only design, you know. Before that, there were the Blucher and the Locomotion. But my favourite would have to be the Lancashire Witch. I believe he built that in 1828. In Newcastle, of course. Well, that's me. I better be off. Wait! Ta-ra, Miss Bateman. I couldn't even get a word in. He likes a good chin wag, our Henry. He certainly does. Henry Long can talk, can't he? <laughs> He's a colourful character. The man drinks like a fish. He certainly does. I've seen him drink this place dry and still be up to tend his garden at sunrise. The man can truly hold his ale. Goodbye. See you soon. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. No sign of any movement. Is Myrtle one of your dolls? Yes, my favourite. Mummy made her for me. She's so beautiful. Wally is the worst brother in the whole world. Why did your brother take Myrtle away? He's just jealous because Daddy is letting me come with him to the market tomorrow. Wally thinks I'm Daddy's favourite, so he took Myrtle from me. What if he rips her to tatters? What if he feeds her to Mr. Bryden's goat? 
Don't worry, Jane. I'm sure he wouldn't do such a thing. Where did your brother go? I don't know. Home, maybe. But I have to wait here for Myrtle's friends to dry out. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... I have, yes. You have? We aren't supposed to talk about it. Why not? Would you like to go there? Yes, I would very much like to. I'll tell you where it is if you find Myrtle for me. You will? Yes, but don't tell anyone about it or I'll be told off. I promise. Please find Myrtle first. I miss her. I will. Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick him so hard. Goodbye. Bye, miss. I shall see you later this evening, gents. Well, I say. Greetings, my dear. Hello, sir. A pause on your beauty, for I shall see you again soon. Wait! Some nerve. Lady, you're blushing. I most certainly am not. Sorry, lass. No way through here today. Let me pass. Not today, by order of Lord Panswick. Now get back before you find yourself under a falling tree. There's nout even down there. You're not going to let me pass, are you? Now she gets it. My name is Thomasina Bateman. Oh, I. You're not from round here, Thomasina Bateman. No, just visiting. What is your name, sir? Horace. Are you in charge here? I am indeed. Tell me, who was that arrogant man here just now? Just someone passing by. It sounded like you knew him better than that. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but that's none of your business. What are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? We're chopping down trees. There is no need to be sarcastic. We're employed by Lord Panswick. He's ordered us to gather logs from his woods. That's what we're doing. These are his woods? Aye, his lordship owns most of the land round Beoli. Who is Lord Panswick? Our governor. He's the governor of the whole town. All right, Owen, back to work now. He lives in Beoli? Aye, not far away. But his lordship doesn't like questions. Or visitors. Now please leave us to our work. Do you know a man named Leonard Shoulder? No, I don't. Can you let me get back to my work now? Why are you gathering logs for Lord Panswick? By heck, you ask a lot of questions. If you must know, his lordship is repairing an old ruin on his land. We need the timber for the restoration work. How intriguing. What type of ruin is Lord Panswick restoring? An old chapel. I should rather like to see it. Not possible. His lordship does not welcome visitors to his estate. Do you know where I can find a place called Hobbs Barrow? Never heard of it. Thanks for your time. We'll be done by tomorrow morning. Come back then if you want to explore the woods. Lass, as I told you, there's no way down the path today. I've no desire to go rooting about in there. I can't see how that will help me. Good day to you, Cyril. I'll do, lass. What do you make of Henry Long? 
<laughs> An idiot who thinks that station's a good idea. Can you imagine? Strangers pouring into Bewley. Turns the stomach, that does. Maybe he has a point. You could travel. Bah! You're an outsider. I'd expect you to have such a bad opinion. But Henry, he's a Bewley lad. We've had the odd Barney or two in the pub over it all. I can imagine. Can I buy you a drink, Cyril? Now? Yes. Go on then, lass. Follow me. So then, it turns around and says, Why is a dog like a tree? And I says, I don't know. And he says, Because they both lose their bark once they're dead. <laughs> Very droll, Cyril. Well, it's been a pleasure, but I must be off. Aye, ah, lass. Ta for the drink. You're not too bad for an outsider. <laughs> Thanks again for the ale, lass. Now leave me be. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? A most charming man, Miss Bateman. He looks after us here, a good fellow. Where does he live? Panswick Manor, on the moors. No visitors allowed. His lordship likes his privacy. Goodbye. See you soon. Hello. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Now to say, except don't be sniffing around his lordship's manor. You'll end up with a round of shot in you. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Just mind your own business around here. Goodbye. ta -ra. Good day. Jane tells me you've taken Myrtle away. And what if I did? That's a bit mean, don't you think? She kicked me! Look at this bruise on my leg! That does look quite bad. Why did she kick you? Because she's a little goblin! You don't know what she can be like! Besides, Myrtle is gone now. I've given her to the Fair Folk. That'll teach her. Who are the Fair Folk? The little people of the Moors. I gave Myrtle to them. Little people? You don't mean fairies, do you? We call them Fair Folk round here. Wally, there is no such thing as fairies. It's two, and I gave them a doll. Where can I find these Fair Folk? Follow the tinker of their tiny belts. I hear them when the wind dies. They dance around their little house. But where is this? little house. Just listen for the bells, you'll find it. <sighs> Don't think about bringing that door back. That'll just bring bad luck for all of us. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole county. Have you met him? No, he lives out on the moor somewhere. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Goodbye. Nobody home. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Hello? Yes? What do you know about Lord Panswick? He gave me some sweets once. My friend says that Lord Panswick has special trees at his manor that grow sweets on their branches. Do you think that's true, miss? I think that's very unlikely. Me too. Goodbye. Goodbye, miss. Good day. Hello, miss. What do you know about Lord Panswick? Not a lot. I know he's in charge around here. Does he come to the village often? Not really. He has a manor out on the moors. Have you ever been there? Evans, no. 
villages aren't allowed there. Why not? Don't know. It's just the way it is. Hmm. Goodbye. Bye, miss. It is rusty and full of holes. Good day. Yes. What can you tell me of Lord Panswick? His lordship oh. commands much respect around here, lass. Keeps me busy with work. Why do you ask? Just curious. Thanks for your time. Aye. Speak to you later. I have one just like this. Alas, it is not mine to take. A fantastic specimen. I didn't come to Bewley to sweep their streets. The moors stretch into the distance. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. I'd better not touch them. They could be poisonous. It looks like something has been buried in the middle. lying about the place. What happened the last time you left your dolly under the tree? A fox ate it, madame. Yes, it did. Fetch it now, won't you? Then I'll fix your supper. Yes, madame. <laughs> 